looks like my Botox has kicked in. I cannot make a mean face. <laughs> that hurt. And I can raise really only my rock eye. This is this is the eye that I always do the huh? This brow I, I really can't raise, but it's already raised. It's like perfect but I can't really do anything because my front house is paralyzed and my chin no movement the only thing I need to correct now are these two little dimples but um, that's with filler can't see any front house movement I'm gonna try really hard to elicit some movement and we'll see so that's it there that's all I can do so that's gonna help me keep my chin smooth and um, you know just aid in the look of my uh, angle, which we might need some filler. Right but anyway, um, brows are popping. Did the little one unit under the brow. And I just love the way that came out because as we age, we get sort of like a, some palpable fat that just hangs. And then you think you need a, a bluff here, but you really just need a little brow lift. Uh, counterbalance with a, some frontalis softening. And uh, get a nice lift. Lift through here. It, it even makes my lip filler look better because we have that Glabella lift. I can no longer depress my brows. So I think it overall came out really nicely. I'm very happy with it. Very subtle. My close feet, I really don't have any. And I will never have any. A lot of black women, honestly, don't get close feet. Um, our skin's usually more tight, but I have seen a lot of women of color uh, that do have lines here and Botox is really the solution or neurotoxin, dysport, Botox, Xeomin, Juvo. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I still have some movement, but everything is nice and smooth and I'm lifted. Back up. Back up and come this way so I can see. And short skin is probably cleansed. Does it look fat? A little bit. So you know, it turns to the side.